When it comes to video games, there's absolutely something for everybody. Even when talking about singular, specific titles, there's probably something in them for you just as well as there is for me. And those don't have to be the same thing. When it comes to multiplayer shooters, there's usually a plethora of options when it comes to play. Play styles, game modes, weapons, characters, whether it's heroes, operators, specialists, or rigs. I'm sure you can find something for yourself in any game that you play. Sometimes I feel like people just boot up a game, they go into one game mode, they don't like it, and they just kind of get mad. It's kind of my same philosophy for fast food restaurants, actually. When I go to a fast food restaurant, let's say I order a cheeseburger and I don't like it, that doesn't mean the fast food restaurant is bad. It just means they don't make a good cheeseburger. Maybe you don't like Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed in Call of Duty, but maybe you'll like Domination or Search and Destroy. Maybe Conquest isn't your thing when it comes to Battlefield, but Rush might be right up your alley. Some people play Call of Duty, and I cannot fathom myself doing this, but some people enjoy Call of Duty just for the zombie modes. Using this mentality, I went into COD World War II looking to love it, and one of the things I tried out was the hardcore mode. In past Call of Duty games, I would never play the hardcore mode, you really couldn't catch me doing it unless I was going for a difficult camo, or a challenge that hardcore made easier, or I was just goofing off for a change of pace. The reason I never liked the hardcore modes in older Call of Duty games is because the older Call of Duty games were more modern or futuristic. Call of Duty Ghosts had so many easy to use weapons, I didn't think hardcore really worked in Call of Duty Ghosts. I didn't think it worked in Black Ops 2 with all of the futuristic intuitive weapons and gadgets. Same thing for Modern Warfare 3, and Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare. I felt like hardcore mode was too easy. You know, you have these nice, accurate 30 round assault rifles, or burst rifles, or just really good weapons. You go into a game mode with 70 less health, and suddenly it just feels like half a game. Call of Duty World War II, however, has less intuitive weaponry. Now I'm not saying it's hard to use or on the level of Battlefield 1, but you have more difficult weaponry. You have guns that have more recoil, less ammunition. And so having 70 less health in that situation kind of fits and it kind of makes it fun. It's really satisfying to land a one-shot kill from across the map with an M1 Grand with iron sights. Call of Duty World War II's more simplistic, bare-bones nature actually caters to the hardcore mode. I don't feel like it's the wrong way to play. And on top of that, it's incredibly easy and yet rewarding? It's kind of strange. Call of Duty has a lot of aim assist, Call of Duty has very intuitive, easy to use weapons, even in COD World War II compared to other shooters, they're incredibly easy to use. And so for me, it's just easy. It's just the easier mode. There's nothing really realistic or high risk, high reward, you just die and kill faster. It's not really that scary or that hardcore. The only thing you really have to look out for is accidentally killing your teammates with grenades or random pre-firing. So for me personally, there's something that fits with the hardcore mode when it comes to COD World War II's multiplayer. No heads up display, instant kills and deaths, it just kind of feels like I'm playing a different shooter altogether. With of course the nice 60 FPS, intuitive gunplay, kill streaks, and all the other things that I play COD for. Now some people play hardcore mode because it's harder or more realistic. <laughs> and that makes me absolutely laugh. Okay, that was weird. What? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, why can't it hear me? Ah! Still there? Oh, yep. No. You don't need to respond to that. You. All that shit. No. Hardcore mode is for getting easy pistol snipes or getting camos easier. It's not difficult at all. It has its own set of challenges, but let's not pretend that we're playing a milsim here. The people that think the hardcore mode is realistic have never played Insurgency, or Arma, or Squad, or Rising Storm, or Red Orchestra, or any of the PC milsim games you can find on PC. The reason I like hardcore mode in Battlefield and in Call of Duty is that it's a little bit easier for me. And it's fun, and that's what matters at the end of the day. I found a way to have fun in a game. 
hardcore mode in a game like Infinite Warfare, or Black Ops 3, or Black Ops 2, or Advanced Warfare, and that doesn't seem right to me. That just feels like cheating almost. You have super intuitive guns, advanced movement, crazy gadgets, and like way more options for customization. You detract health on that and you just have easy mode. COD World War 2 is kind of easy mode when it comes to hardcore, but at least like I don't feel like I'm cheesing the game or playing the game in a way that shouldn't be played. So yeah, I actually found myself grinding the hardcore mode and getting challenges done and ranking up and enjoying myself by one-tapping people across the map with M1 carbines, Gravers, or MP40s. It's just fun. So I've been criticized for being negative a lot on my channel, and I'm letting you guys know, I found a way for me to personally have fun in COD World War II. And it's the hardcore, easy mode, one-shot everybody thing that is hardcore. It has its own set of challenges by not being able to nade spam without killing your teammates. You have to be careful about where you fire because it could be a teammate on the other side of the wall. If you kill three teammates, it will kick you from the game. So it has that challenge where you have to call in your score streaks more carefully and throw your grenades more carefully. But also, I can just sit back and relax and pistol snipe people and one tap people and listen to music and enjoy myself even when playing solo. That's a win. That's a goddamn win, and I wanted to share with you guys that I found a way that I'm enjoying COD World War II. The hardcore mode for me is the way to go with this Call of Duty, because this Call of Duty I think is a little bit boring, but there's something oddly satisfying about just killing people with a single shot from a semi-auto over and over and over again. I I don't know why, I just kind of find that fun. I, I don't know, it just... It, it plays into the boredom, it plays into the simplicity of the game to have like the super simplistic anyone can do it kill time. So I think that's pretty cool. Landing multiple shots is for plebs. See you when I see ya. Goodbye.